tiger muskie have earned the nickname fish of a thousand casts. But as Jay will tell you, after eight years fishing for them, putting in the time and effort to catch these trophy fish is well worth it. At one time I thought I wanted to be a bass fisherman and then I saw a tiger come after one of my lures and I, it was a pretty nice size one, so I was like, I gotta get one of those. Jay usually handles large tiger muskie, but he recently helped WDFW staff stock young ones that averaged between 10 and 12 inches in Silver and Newman Lakes. Tiger muskie are raised by staff at the Ringgold Meesburg Hatchery in Franklin County before being trucked to lakes across the state for stocking. Tiger muskie have a long, cylindrical shaped body with lobe shaped dorsal and ventral fins far back near the tail. They have a duckbill shaped snout and vertical stripes on a light background and very large, sharp teeth. The average sized tiger muskie is 18 to 20 inches at two years old. 25 to 30 inches at three years old, and mature adults are 34 inches and up. They can grow to over 30 pounds. In Washington, the minimum size tiger muskie that can be kept is 50 inches. While Jay has come close, he hasn't caught one that big yet. My personal best is 46 and a half inches. Jay knows to look for these fish in shallow weedy bays near the tops of the weed beds from about the end of May until the end of September. They can also be found near or under logs or docks. What Jay didn't know is the process behind making this trophy fishery available to the public. Just the everything that goes into making them and, and uh, raising them at the hatchery and then uh, just the process of getting them here from the hatchery and releasing them, scatter planting them into the lakes and stuff. While trout are stocked through tubes from a truck and all deposited in the same location of a lake, tiger muskie are scatter planted, which means loaded onto a boat and dropped in netfuls around the lake. This is to make sure they disperse and don't all end up in a single area. For Jay, the day was about learning, although he does have a little more insight as to where to look for these fish now. Just get better information about the fish and uh, be able to give back to something that I truly love and fish for and just try to help you know for the years to come grow a fishery for other people and still myself because I'll be around in eight years or so. Mostly though it was about giving back. Uh, just seeing them all and just like I don't know just giving back just you know putting stuff out there for other people to catch.